We are at Tonto National Monument out here by, I think this is the city of Roosevelt. You can kind of see the lake, Roosevelt Lake out there. And I am here with my parents. My dad is already climbing and my mom. And there's a lot of really beautiful saguaro out here. I'm actually kind of happy to see how healthy these saguaro are because they're looking pretty sad in the Phoenix area, but they're looking pretty healthy out here uh, in the middle of nowhere. I got like, this is what, teddy bear choya? Maybe? So there's this about half mile hike up to go visit the lower cliff dwellings. And then there's also uh, upper cliff dwellings, but I think you have to have a guide go with you and you have to make reservations and I'm actually getting winded from climbing this hill <laughs> whoa look at this choya lots of saguaro this is about an hour and 48 minutes or so drive from my house I've been here about five years ago. I don't remember much of it. I'm getting winded. That's nice, huh? Oh, the view looks really good on my video. My mom wants me to show you all the lake. <laughs> so the visitor center down there is where you pay your fee or show your national parks pass. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's really pretty. Look at that rock. It's got that color to it. Lots of really good, healthy looking uh, brittle bush. Everything just looks so lush and green out here compared to Phoenix. <laughs> okay, those are like some ancient saguaro. Dad leading the way. The vegetation is so healthy here. This is good exercise. Oh, this is the inside of a saguaro. Salado culture. Yeah. The view gets better and better. Some Palo Verde. Looking really good. Wow, look at that. Can you see that skeleton of a saguaro? There's actually more down there. Oh, look at this view. Oh, there's a dam. Yes. We can go take a look at it. Because it's really close. We'll want to take a look at it. Yeah. So we drove all the way out here. How come mom's not breathing hard at all? Yo, oh yo, okay. It's a beautiful day. Look at that choya. So gorgeous. 
this choya. They're just growing in habitat. You can see the choya has dropped some of its, what are these called, balls? Or they'll just get clones of themselves. Oh, there's a mammalaria there. Grammy eye. <laughs> or is it Cochimia? <laughs> Prickly pear sprinkled throughout the grounds. Look at the saguaro. Just gorgeous. My parents are beating me to the top. Some more skeletons up there. A oh, ferro cactus. Probably was Lizeni. I could be wrong. Some more ancient saguaro. We're here to take a look at real estate that may not be for sale. Gosh, look at the saguaro. That's a very beautiful rock. Is that real? is something very dead. Wow. Look at how gorgeous this choya is. Oh man. Let's take a look at the rock. I wish I knew stuff about mineral. This is what's in the cliff. Very beautiful. It's a big old hole here. Look at this color. So here's a picture of the cliff dwelling from, couldn't be from 1883, could it? And then, Let's go see it for ourselves. Like that saguaro is so old. Cliff dwelling? So cool. There's a ferro cactus up there. Yes. That's quite the climb. kind of passed through this area so they were able to go down to the larger communities along the river and trade for anything they could produce themselves. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. This is kind of dark here. Where did they go? Oh, so they don't know why. Interesting. Oh, so these are different rooms. Some upper areas. Oh, it's really dark. It's 
some reinforcement. Fragile area. This is also, where did they go, right? They don't know. They don't know. They don't know. Why they just moved on. Drought, major floods. Floods is a big, big problem. I think this video actually is pretty cool. Oh my gosh, look at how ancient. That's so ancient. My goodness. I want one. You want, your Julius is catching up. Julius is a clean. Oh, that's, there's so many old plants here. I have to get a picture of the dwelling from down there. Yeah. Look, Choya. Well, that's a nice looking. Yeah, and with the color with this, this, this brittle awesome. bush. Brittle bush. Look, there's another one here. Yes, it's Ooh. a young one too. It's probably from a ball that fell off. Yeah, this brittle bush is. Yeah, I, I forgot that, what this uh, is. What what is that? Superstition monkey. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's what's so special. I take a picture of the dwelling from here. See, I can take a picture. Heading down now. Where did the parents go? There they are. Hope you enjoyed some real estate shopping today. I don't think we can afford this place, though so maybe a little bit out of our budget. It was probably not for sale and hasn't been for sale for a long time. What's this? I know. Do you think this is agave of some sort? It might be. I don't think it's aloe. Maybe agave. Agave, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's kind of neat. Huge clump. Oh, here's a young one. Here's a young Saharo. Mm -hmm. I see some small ones down there. No, there's some small ones down there, yeah. That's good. It's a lot cooler now. The sun going behind them. Skeleton. Yeah, there's a lot of skeletons. Yes. But we saw a young saguaro too, yes, so that's good. good. Ooh, prickly pear. Pretty big clump too. Oh, here's a little saguaro. You think somebody put it there?
It's plant, plant matter. Is it a chicken or a plant? It's a plant. It does look a lot like feathers, though. Ma. A dead G. <laughs> <laughs> it's a G. <laughs> but that did look like a chicken. It looked like a chicken. Yeah. And you can hear birds and stuff making sounds. We have to walk Cactus Patch Trail. Then I'll go back to Visitor Center to get a magnet. But I do want to walk this trail since we're here. Let's see what Cactus Patch. Oh, variety of cacti which inhabit the Sonoran Desert. This is very well suited for cookies cacti. Huh? Oh, there's a bird nest in here. I know curved bill thrashers like to make nests in Choya. Too bad I can't identify the grasses and like this. I don't know what that is. Only prickly pear. Choya. Oh, it's on top of the um, saguaro. There it is. Oh, Let's take a look. So, persistent plants. Different hillsides, they do like hillsides. So you have saguaro, acatillo, agave. What's soto? Soto? Yeah. Is that the one? So it's not an agave. Soto. Huh. Soto, I have to look that up. Oh. There's a lot of choya out here. This is, this is actually Valley of Choya. Choya. Cho Valley of Choya. Bird nest. Yeah. This is very healthy. Yeah, what is this? We have to find out what yeah, that it's is. It's easy, okay. Take your camera and then take a picture. Okay. And, and identify. That, that should be very easy yes. to find. Look at that one. This one? There's a lot of them, okay. Oh, they have an amphitheater. Look at the gram. Grammy. Very nice. It's a miracle. Can we see from oh there's the dwelling from down here. It's a nice wash. This is Palo Verde, right? This is Palo Verde. Back at the visitor center. Hope you all enjoyed that little tour and hike to see plants and see the ancient real estate. And if you're ever out in the Arizona area and have some time to drive out here, do you recommend to come out? Let me take a look at Lake Roosevelt, which we can't see from down here. All right, take care, y'all. Bye bye. Yeah. Oh, ge roadside geology. This would be good to learn. Cactus of Arizona. Oh, this is the kids. Oh, snacks. Snacks. Let's see what else they get. Oh, this is cute.
Oh, that's cute. This is so cute. So cute. Let me see if there's a... Uh, pen. I think these are all... Oh, this is a magnet. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be this one. Yeah. And I'll do, uh, I'll do this one. This is a lapel pin. Let's take a look at the museum. Press the pause button if you would like to read this. How old are the cliff dwellings? From 1300 to 1450 CE. Welcome back. I think she's in the museum. Oh, no, she is. Never mind. Blankets. Press the pause button if you'd like to read these. Plants used as tools. Plants, plants, plants. This is nice. This is where we are. Oh, it's Salt River. I think the Roosevelt uh, Lake feeds the Salt River. Okay, that makes yeah, sense then. So we're at Roosevelt Dam, which is just a short six mile drive from the Tonto National Monument, where we saw the cliff dwelling. So beyond this is Lake Roosevelt or Roosevelt Lake. And if I'm not mistaken, this dam was quite significant in making the valley livable. Because I believe that the Roosevelt Lake or Lake Roosevelt feeds the Salt River. And in the past, it would either be too dry or it, the valley would flood.
And every time it flood, of course, it would destroy everything. So building this dam made a huge difference in the livability of like the Phoenix Valley area. Now it could be completely wrong. Let's go find my parents. Lots of plant matter out here too. So cool. Man-made marvel for sure. Wow. It's a little dam, I would say. I've been to the Hoover Dam before as well. Let's go see if they have some information here about the this dam. Finish in nineteen eleven. First time it's placed. Yeah, this is not easy work. All right, that was another false ending. Hope you enjoyed that. Take care, y'all. Bye-bye.